girls. Welcome to Mr. Rogers Lemming Neighborhood, where all of Mr. Rogers Lemming neighbors have decided to stay in their houses and keep themselves safe from the CV-19 virus, because that's what the government tells them is going to harm them in some big, bad, ugly way. So, while they're shut up in their houses, going crazy, going broke, and going hungry, you and I are going to spend some quality time together. Oh, the dirt on the shoes? Has Mr. Rogers been a bad boy and not obeying the stay-at-home orders and going outside getting fresh air, which is exactly what the government told me not to do? No way! Never would Mr. Rogers disobey a direct order from Big Daddy government or mainstream fake stream media. I'm gonna comply or die. Do exactly what they say and you won't get hurt. Give a little bit of your essential liberty so that you can obtain some politically promised security that always works out well for you. Just take a look at our history. Look at Russia's history. Look at China's history. Always works out for those who are compliant. You obey the government and you'll be doing okay, boy. Now, there's a question, or actually an observation that was made, and it was sent to old Mr. Rogers, and it goes something like this. Why government has the authority to suspend rights in times of crisis? Now, Mr. Rogers had to do a lot of digging, so I consulted the founding fathers, and you would not believe the massive list that I found of people who were more than willing to comply. Benjamin Franklin, Sam Adams, Thomas Jefferson, there's a big one, got a lot of information from him, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution of the United States, you name it. Oh, Patrick Henry, golly, I got this list somewhere, where is it? I got a list. I mean, it's exhausting. It's a long list. Let me just remind you, we're going to find out why government has the authority to suspend rights in times of crisis. Why? It's going to be exhausting. Do you have a minute? I got it on here somewhere. It took me all day and all night last night to compile this massive list on why the government has the authority to suspend rights in times of crisis. Oh my God, you got, you got, you're gonna comply after this. I'll tell you that right now. My exhaustive list. Wait a minute, is there something wrong here? Could it be that this is actually consistent with the tenets of individual liberties and personal rights? There must be a mistake right here. This, this has to be the wrong paper. This can't have hopped out of the spirit of Thomas Jefferson, or Benjamin Franklin, or Samuel Adams, or Patrick Henry, Daniel Webster. Have they let us down? Could the list be this exhaustive? Could this be why the government has the authority to suspend individual rights in times of crisis? Here's exactly why government has the authority to suspend rights in times of crisis. Oh yeah. Some of us seem to have forgotten that nobody has the right to initiate unjust force and violence on peaceful people who haven't done anything wrong. Say, you want to know something else Mr. Rogers can teach you? While all the lemming masses seek refuge in the safety and security and comfort of their own houses, apart from the vitamin D sunshine, the life-giving sunshine that the sky provides, truth is treason in the empire of lies. Truth is the new hate speech. A lie will make its way halfway around the world before the truth has time to get its pants on. And truth is the first casualty in any war. Patrick Henry said, Give me liberty or give me death.
this critical and deadly juncture in American history, you really need to submit to lockdown measures. Our government cares about us. They never lie to us or steer us in the wrong direction. Just ask our forefathers how well that's worked out for them in the past. You need to submit. Ah, for those darling, fragile little human beings who think we need to suspend the Constitution because of this crisis. <laughs> Come here for a second. The Constitution was made during a crisis.